That's why you're his friend. She's been a few months long. <laughs> All right, well, the meeting is being screened right now and recorded, so. Okay, since so the chairs aren't here, I'll call a meeting to order at 6.30. Um, first thing on the agenda, the um, facilities budget to go over that. Anything you need to make us aware of on that, Nick? Or, or uh, I mean, his, in terms of my end, which I'm more familiar with, is the wages. I know you can see there's an increase there. Yeah, just a little. Just a little, but I mean, we had a bump up pay. It needs more help. Um, and he can't get that help unless we bump up paying. We're still paying people $15 an hour and nobody was biting. Um, so we increased pay. I think we increased uh, full time. I think we increased the part time by one. Um, and the full time assistant is now an actual full time assistant. Um, so yeah, that, that's a huge increase. And that's good to uh, whether that's 64000 So that full-time assistant is going to be the sexton. Um, well, that, I mean, we'll get to that, but yeah, I mean, the idea is maybe he'll be sexton or maybe you guys want to talk about hiring an actual sexton. And that'll become the secretary budget. And in terms of benefits, I told you about this already. That, that's obviously nowhere near what it's going to be, but I wasn't going to put that in until I found out the numbers, which they should be available in beginning of November. At least estimates. I mean, uh, usually I get estimates at the end of October. Um, do you foresee health insurance going up again? Yes. I always see it going up. So, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes not as much as I thought, but I, I think every year I think yeah, it's going up a little. So if we get back up to the wages, I guess. Um... You know, it's a sixty-four thousand dollar increase, which is about seventy-four percent, which is huge. Right. So, um, is it just increasing everybody's pay? So yeah, all across the board, okay. the starting pay is going up, and like I said, we're adding one more part timer. And, and the part timer the went to full time. And there was a part time facility assistant yeah. that was part time. Now that's full time under facility. Yeah. I mean, a little background on this. Prior to that, assistant was a full time position. So, and it was kind of hidden into the transportation budget. Right. right. Assistant was, right? Yeah, yeah that's now that's all. Was he 30 hours or? 20? Was he 30 hours? Yeah. Before it was, was my, correct, I think it was, wasn't it? 24, 24 facilities six, and 16 yeah. for transport. Yeah. Station. That's how it used to be. Obviously, that's yeah. this case. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, uh, wage increases is something the government's going to have to face. They're totally off mark. Yeah. I mean, Corey, Corey can speak to that. I mean, he, he, I couldn't get anybody to. No, you can't. Hire for anything. Nobody wants to work, <laughs> let alone at those wages. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Well, first, we, uh, McDonald's was paying at 18. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're starting at 15. Log on to your bank. Tellers yeah. are making 21 bucks an hour. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. <clears throat> this isn't a question that somebody's answered tonight. I'm not always joking to that, but on page 13 here for the public works department, there are four people hired full time. Right. Now, for six months of the year, their priorities obviously are going to be snowplow. Interspersed with some work, uh, some other work to do with roads, probably uh, when it's not snowing and they don't have to be plowed. But there's six summer months that those people are going to be on the payroll because we have to, we think we have to hire people full time in order to get the right people. Right. And it seems to me that there is some synergy between. Budgeting for those people during the summertime and money that we're already paying in this budget for cemetery maintenance, for 
things other, other than those. Right. And I wonder if any thought has been given to that, or whether there's any interrelationship with that uh, in that. I think we've talked about that, about how, I mean, these, I think these, if this does go forward with the public works, there's going to be some overlapping. I don't know how that's going to look right now. Because uh, I don't know how, because his position well, will change. You, you can't know, right? Right, now, right. right. I, I right. just asked the question, I raised the right. question because it's going to come up. Well, yeah, and I and I think we said there's going to be some overlap in right. some way. I would think that there's, you know, I mean, none of the roads were mowed this year. Right. Um, trees you know, need to be cut. Right. You know, I think there's yes. going to, if you have a public works department, there'll be plenty of work for them. Absolutely. Um, you know, because a lot of things you notice this summer didn't get done. Right. So, and and I think if I understand the facilities department, they've got their hands full with yes. the transfer station, mowing the lawns and all that other stuff that they do. I don't know. I mean, I, you know. No, yeah, they were definitely, well, of course, but yeah, they were. Yeah. I mean, first of this year was just, and we have more property and than ever, too. Four, in Buckfield, we had four full time mm -hmm. in public works, yeah. and they had plenty to do in oh, the yeah. summer months stitching, culverts, um, helping with the paving. I mean, just doing any number of things, and they did all the mowing of the cemeteries as well. Mm -hmm. And then too, when we have storms and things like that, you know, I know we had a tree across the road and uh, we're out there cutting it up, you know, things like that. So, uh, you know, there's, I, I, don't, I think it's going to be intermingled quite a bit. I mean, yeah. somebody doing something here uh, one day and something else another day, that's, it's not going to be just. I don't think you're going to be sitting around. No, absolutely not. Well, not only that, you look at the transfer station and, uh, I don't know what Kenny's going to do with that pile of brush, but that's got to cut off at least in my so mind. It's Supposedly, to be it's done before winter. Oh, yeah, okay. because the, the machine's there, the pack's coming in for the clutch, and as soon as the clutch is put back in, the machine's going to walk up and grind out. If not, we've got another company to That'll come in. Yeah, because okay. yeah, that's getting out of control. <laughs> that <and> wood pile. <laughs> the wood pile's taking a beat. Yeah, this week. Oh, did it? Good. Yeah. Good. Well, last week. I mean, my biggest thing is, is I don't think you're going to be able to take public works to do cemetery and lawn maintenance just because that's a weekly thing that's going to have to happen. And you'll never get any of the other projects done. Right. Or you won't get your mowing done. Mm -hmm. And that's what I see Augusta dealt with this year, and they had 18 inch grass in their cemeteries. Yeah. Right now the cemetery is looking pretty good. Yeah. But what is what's the uh, total budget? Right now or yeah. last year? Last year. Our budget was three million something. I couldn't tell you the exact cool. <laughs> I think so it was this is going to be a little bit of an impact. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it, and it, and I argued this at the last board meeting mm -hmm. is unfortunately, the five people are on the board, some of them have been here all that time. Mm -hmm. um, the board of select persons have held all our facilities in the town to hold flat budget for about 15 years. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. And that's why all the buildings are, are wherever they're at. That's mm -hmm. why all the facilities. Because you can't hold a flat budget. There's um, a lot of stuff that needs to be done. Oh, yeah. I found We're more. at a point where things are over. Uh, I found yeah. more today, uh, unfortunately. Yes, he did. Yes, I'm sure you do. <laughs> Deferred maintenance is. Uh... It's a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it comes back to bite you. No, it does. And you it gotta keep up with it. Yeah. If, if you maintain it, I think it's worth the price, but you know, I think it's right. cheaper in the long run. I agree, hundred so, percent. Yeah, but uh, you know, I think I think Jack has a valid point. There needs to be a plan, right? What are these people going to be doing? You know, and I I think uh, you know, just at least from a taxpayer standpoint, as long as there's some thought, hey, in the winter they'll be plowing, in the summer they'll be doing this, that, and the other. So. I mean, it's like, you know, I know a lot of towns, they all, you know, when it comes to a paving projects, they cut, 
costs on the pavement, they truck the they truck the hot dog. Yeah, yeah. Or be involved in trucking hot dog. Yeah, for a lot of them, Winslow and all them. Yeah. yeah, because they, you know, you get somebody even like Pike or somebody out there, they want those trucks to keep that machine rolling. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. okay. Okay. Um, I'm new to this kind of stuff and, uh, Honest to God, I woke up over nap this afternoon going to this meeting. Having a long day this far, I started at four in the morning and had nonstop cutting up with things. I came back from a uh, long trip, two two week trip, and uh, uh, I'm still jet lag. So I apologize for uh, the delay this afternoon. So we are moving on in the agenda to. Um, so we're closing the facilities discussion, I guess, is what I'm okay, hearing. Any questions? Uh, I'm sort of a very linear person. So why don't you just walk us right on down by uh, object line and just hit the ones that you think are significant. I mean, I don't really care. You know, communications, obviously, under services, we don't need to talk about. Right. Um, but, um, you know, when I look at rentals and I see a drop, but I see the actuals are up. You might want to give me sort of an understanding as to why. We already talked about the wages. I think we understand that. Um, you know, and and like that's why I asked you what's material because when I look at say for example under supplies thirty oh four is fifteen hundred dollars really material. Well, so that $1,500, that's not, are you asking if that's one purchase? Because that's not going to be. No, no. Is it, is it a big number in the context of the overall budget as far as you're concerned? That $1,500? Yeah. Like you see an increase of $1,500. No. Are you, I, are you like, let's move on? Yes. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> I mean, okay. I'm sure, I mean, it also depends on what it was, but like, there's only 50 bucks there and we're bumping at 1500 Then I would say, okay, yeah. just an FYI. Yeah. Like really the only other thing I can think of in court is, you know, speak up, I'm saying, I think the only, like heating, we're having to increase that electricity, we're going to have to increase that by quite a bit yeah. on all departments. Have, have we gone up to bed for fuel yet? We have, uh, is this name Paul? Yeah. He's been watching it for us. He's indicated to me that prices will drop mm -hmm. and it will be lower in January. He said it's complete opposite of what is normal. He said it happens every so often. And so I have been in contact with him. He keeps me updated on the pricing. So do you know what I, any idea what our price is right now? Nick or? Nick would know. Uh, I would have to grab a Bill, if you want, I can grab one real quick and find out what we're paying. I just, I just want to make sure we're budgeting enough for fuel because right now, down in Portland Way, it's fuel cash price for fuel in Portland Way. If you don't have an account, of course, that's right. not what the town gets, but um, it's five dollars a gallon for number two. We budget this stuff thinking five dollars. Yeah, a that's what we think. Okay, is five dollars. And it's so actually, I mean, I've gotten fuel oil at home. It was uh, under five. Was I four, mean, four, seven, I just got some of those three forty-eight a gallon, but right. I, I that's, really that's, that's what the town should be okay. getting. Just cut two yeah, million, say, oh, two million oh, barrels a day, and oh. there was another cut in another oil supply at two million barrels a day. So might have to revisit it. Who knows? They have to plan for six dollars a gallon. Yeah, know. that's a, yeah. I mean, for right now, it's a good stat. I think I think you probably ought to think of six fifty. Okay. Is uh, and how I, I apologize for this question calendar or fiscal calendar? calendar. And then we, we could always, if we get a better price in January before we finalize the Actually, articles, we could always decrease that yeah. before we finalize the articles if we get a Good better deal price, correct? Right, yeah. The deal the year to date number is September. Uh, so these, yes, yeah, so at the end of September. Okay. So 75% of the year. 
So your run rate on fuel is about nine grand. Which one, which facility? Well, have? if I look at where you are year to date and I just do a simple run rate on that, uh, that would be your under uh, 3002 fuel. Okay. Yeah, it's about, ends up being about $9,000. So okay. none of us know where the fuel is going to go. Right. But what kind of saved us this year? If we were under that contract, for that the first saved six us. months, yeah, yeah that saved us. We're paying two dollars a gallon more. It was five dollars. And gallon. Kenny made sure everything got filled out before the contract ran out. So, yeah, yeah. I think we we not got loads of trouble, but like he wouldn't have any money. To fill yeah, it. or is it as at center today, and that they're at a half a tank. So that's you know they'll need fuel yeah. probably Novemberish. How how old are the facilities truck? You know that far? The one ton dump truck is a 2021 or 2020. Oh, okay. It's got 6,000. So miles that's on new. It. Yeah. 2021. And the other one is an 06, I do believe. Is it 26? It's got 61,000 miles. 2016. It's a 16. 2016. I think it's a 16. Okay. So, so 60,000 plus miles. All right. So with the truck, what happened so far this year? In terms of repairs and yeah. stuff like that, I mean uh, that is under thirty five oh two. Yeah, repair. That's the the facility struck the facilities one ton. So those are right. Down, but so. you spent thirty five hundred dollars yes. on a one thousand dollar budget. So something must have happened to the truck. I think it is. It's old. It's twenty sixteen. So I think it just needed a bunch of um, inspection required brakes and other parts. Okay. Um, tires. Because I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to figure out is what's going to happen next year with it. Mm -hmm. That is a good question because the fenders are rusting out on it, the cab oh. corners are rusting on it, okay. and it does need new snow tires for this one to pursue. All right. So fifteen hundred dollars is not going to cut it. Yeah, you're probably right. Because so. that you'll probably pay that in tires alone. Right. So what do you want to bump that up to? Well, maybe a thousand tires, but. You know, it's easy. Well, the snow tires that I had studded all the way around, I got quote just one so far. That's nineteen hundred bucks mm. for a ten ply tire. Okay. Where are you getting that from? Just up the road up here. Oh, okay. Definitely will become cheaper someplace else, but right, right. just as a off the cuff number. Yeah. Nineteen hundred bucks. I, I think you might want to revisit that line, look yeah. at the truck, and figure out what you might want to do with that. Because if you need tires, it's starting to rust out. How's the undercarriage? They do. What is that thing that they Fluid spray? Fluid. They've, they've been doing that all along, from what I gather. Okay. I haven't checked the fill uh, thing, but they had it up on the lift less than a month ago, and they didn't say anything about the frame. Yeah. So we'll. Oh, I'm sorry. I was on the wrong line. Two thousand. So do um, you think uh, between the tires, it, will it need rust remediation or no? I think it should before it gets bad. Okay. I mean, you can already see around the fender wells, the bubbling okay. with some of the showing and the cab corners are already showing rust. So you may want to revisit the fluid filming because usually that fluid filming will kind of prevent some of that hitting them in. It should be in them areas of the fluid film. Well, so, uh, you might want to think and get an yeah. estimate on uh, rust repair somewhere. Just to, if you want to save the truck. Oh, it's definitely a good truck. And it's all set up for Wesley to drive. So it, it's definitely worth saving, but it yeah. just needs to be fixed. Fixed. Yeah, right. Okay. No, good with that. I don't like deferred maintenance, right? That's right. <laughs> Cheaper than a new one. <laughs> And, you, and they're hard to get. Uh, you know, we, uh, well, we've been waiting for a truck for over a year for EMA. No, in the same vein, we got uh, facilities one ton truck, 3503, uh, budget for the proposed for 2023 is $1,500. And they spent one hundred and seventeen dollars and seventy cents so far this year. That's the building line. Next one up, Jack. I yeah, think. We, yeah, they spent one thousand three hundred fifty-seven dollars and ten cents year to date on the one ton. 
you know, and, and, and a budget of, of five hundred dollars. You know. What? Um, I mean, that truck's new. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay. Do you know? <laughs> and got fluid film, maybe. Um, and I got beef. Oh, <laughs> oh did need some something to happen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't remember what it was, but it was a light, tail light or something. Yeah, there's been some body damage in the back. Yeah. So, okay. More to come. Yeah. More Straight backs. But otherwise, it's otherwise. Okay, yeah. that's fine. No okay. problem. Yep. Tires? Tires are just street tires. I might have to address tires when we start following. And see what we're doing for trouble. So same yeah. thing. I would get an estimate on that, and before it comes back, have that okay. in the in the budget. I think I just, I'm just one person on the but if you don't, I think that's half the reason why I got stove up with stove up to get have the tires on the right side. Yeah. Anything else? On this page, Nick. Not that I see. I'm going through the whole thing right now just to see if I'm like I like I said. You'll he, you'll see heating and electricity up. On yeah, everything. that's fine. Um, as long as you think you got enough. Well, but I guess that will probably be an ongoing thing about this whole thing. Just check what fuel's doing. Yep. I'll I'll try to get some prices from Baby into it. We'll see what they say. Um, I mean cleaning services. When you see that, I don't really know what's going on because the contract expires in June, I believe. Um, I don't know if we're renewing that. If so if we're gonna find someone else. So what are we paying for all the facilities for cleaning? Yearly? Yeah. I think it's like 33, 32. 30, I want to say it's 34 something. 34 thousand. And is is everybody happy with the facilities, how they are being cleaned? I think um, I, I think there are some concerns. concerns. I thought I think I, think, I thought we were getting more bang for our buck. I think it's the majority of the concerns. So uh, I guess this would be on you. Yeah. What would it? How much would it cost to have a full time employee for cleaning facilities? What would that take? Budgetary. I mean, how much? What would you look for? Uh, well, you got thirty four thousand right now, so you know you're not going to hire somebody to clean benefits. And then you end benefits, right? Which is I don't know. I used to use forty percent, but I think it's higher than that now. Plus the cleaning supplies and all oh, yeah. of that. So it really is Do cheaper we than give them than, supplies. No, they 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 just went to they're going to send me a list that we can get. The wolves mm -hmm. So we're, we're, just, we're getting them anyway. Yeah, I still don't think we can hire one person though. Benefits. Uh, how many how many years was the contract? It's, it's just one, one from my oh, understanding. But they it's, were I know but they, last year they were the only company bid on it and it, we sent it out multiple times. Oh mm -hmm. there's somebody raised in town that was built on it. Yeah. It comes due again. He has his own cleaning business. He lives right here in town. I were discussed it with him and he will bid on it if comes to bid. I just, you know, I just if, it, if, if the facilities people, you know, and the facilities aren't satisfied with the cleaning, you know, and I've, I've been at the board meetings, I've been hearing stuff when it comes up to warrants. I don't know if it, I don't know what's been going on with that either. Well, I can only speak for this office too. I don't know how to do anything for the center. I know they, that's a big one they have to do. I don't know. They like the, the center. Uh, I haven't heard a lot of complaints. We're still debating replacing the floor machine, which will yeah, they she actually which will help cleaning over there. Um, but those aren't cheap. Yeah. And I guess I heard a complaint the other day about North Dubbery Community Center. Okay, uh, and that's no, that's about the extent of it. Who's the person contracted? Made for you. Mm -hmm. There was a, a day from. But we, I do not know where they I are. I don't think so. I can probably find it. Yeah. 
I don't think so. Are they you're from Waterville, from Augusta? So they're, yeah. they're nearby. nearby. Um, I, the only reason I ask is, is that means that they have a, yeah, a uh, no. they have a travel time and gas to spend. So we have people in town that can do that. Waterville, they're out of Waterville. We have people in town that we can send, ask them to bid on it. Yeah, so they'll put it up our RFP again. I mean, yeah. you know, it, it's going to expire anyway. They'll they'll probably bid again, and um, <coughs> you know, right. this company from Belgrade. Right. So at least you get two. Yeah. Hopefully. Uh, you you I mean, yeah, that's that's my thing. Just like to see a more competition no. or not. So, you know, I just know that that's one of the questions the board is probably going to ask how much how much it's going to be to you know do a full time. Right, and we'll probably, I mean, if we're going to put out, we'll probably have to get estimates again and, and put those into the budget because I don't know what they'll be the second half of the year. Yeah. Because that'll be a new contract. So, well, um, think about them, you know, I it's up to you. You can do a, you can do a one year with an extension. Okay. You know, yeah. it just doesn't have to be well, you can even do a three year if you want to do that. But then you've got to manage them. Right. So whatever you guys want to yeah. do. So um would be acceptable to, to ask all these three theaters if, if you could get three theaters. Yeah, I uh, yeah. just just call cleaning companies, look yeah. them up on the internet, and say, "Hey, well, by the way, we're doing this. Do you want well, to I, I, I think, send it to them?" And I think Anthony did that. Yeah, I mean, because we gave him a list and a slip. Right. right. So, but like like uh, we said, there's one Belgrade, but maybe that will. Yeah. No, does, that'd be a good look. It does it have to be a commercial uh, entity? I don't think there's a rule saying that. Well, they're gonna have. They're just gonna be have all the insurance right. work as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. I could have a right, certain right. sound, right? General liability, right? Like it's one thing, one of the general. Which they can get anybody, right? It's, 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 it's just a few dollars. Um, I went through this real quickly while you guys were talking earlier. Really, like I said, there's nothing that I see that's a huge increase other than electricity and heating. So um, that page, has to be drawn attention to, unless you guys see something that. Uh, page on page four, the equipment line under repairs and maintenance. What do we buy? Went from zero to six thousand. I think that's that cleaner. Was right? oh, that the cleaner? I think. Am I correct on the, on the CFAS? Is that that cleaner that we talked about? Which one did I make? Page uh, page thirty five oh one page four under the center oh, yeah. well it's actually it's on page four mm -hmm. okay we got it okay. I think that's easier have the original yeah it's under repairs and maintenance thirty five oh one equipment I'm pretty sure that's that cleaner floor cleaner floor cleaner is it that cleaner I don't think so. I know it's not the pool because we're putting that under rack, which we might talk about. Maybe that's what it was, was the pool. Okay. The pool. Yeah, because it's a, it's end of the center for all seasons. Maybe, but it has a pool line so I thought I would put on that, but maybe I did this. Okay. Well, figure it out, send us an email. Yeah. Yeah, because Nick on the pool line, you you got two thousand. Two thousand that hasn't changed. So that's for chemicals. Like I yeah. said, when you see the rec department. You'll see a seven thousand dollar expense. I can't remember what we decided to repair the pool, and we said we'll put it there. If you guys want to put it in the facilities, we can put it in the facilities. I would think that'd be a capital property. It's I it can be, yeah, absolutely. It should be. It's a long term thing. It's so, that plus the the uh, cost. You said seven grand. I think that's what we put yeah. SDS to seven thousand. Yeah. He wasn't able to get any commercial pool people here to give an estimate. Really? That was a verbal estimate that one of the companies said from what you're describing and from the report we got from the state, that's pretty much in the ballpark. Okay. So I think it's a work in progress to get an actual. I would quote. add half again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the other thing on, on that part of it, possibly look into what they have, what REC has in um, capital reserve. 
Does yeah. that pool stuff with the mile cap? Yeah, oh, yeah, they have right. plenty of money there for the mile cap. So that's definitely a place they can pull. Yeah, that's where I would take it from. Yeah. It wouldn't be in here. Okay. Let's scratch that when we get to that department. I thought it was the winner would be on the wrong. I know when I know that clean is quite a bit of money because I know when the, the former facility maintenance tried to bring it to the board to buy one, it was it was pretty close to that money and they they said no. Oh uh, six thousand that's that over now? Is it higher than that now? It was like fifty four, fifty five. I got it brought it to two it. compared to the one that's there. One is nineteen thousand, one is sixteen thousand. Yeah, so they should have bought it when they had the chance. Yeah, but you know, when you have a floor like that one, you need the right equipment, the right chemicals. Mm -hmm. and, you know, if you try to cut corners with it, it'll stain, you'll never get it out. And, you know, yeah. and they haven't had a pool machine for yeah, over a year now. So you also might see some rentals go up because port parties are up. The cost of rent the quarter parties. So, and, uh, did we uh, did we go out to bid uh, or check for another company? I just checked with AAA. <laughs> yeah, they're all set for doing, uh, but they did haven't heard from the seller as to what their prices are going to be for next year, which I can almost bet they're going to go up because they already went up once this year. Um, AAA is up higher than what we are paying right now, but I'm pretty sure we put that in the budget with that price. Just planning on it going up all across the board. Perfect. And AAA has much better service than right. what we need really to go away from what we got right now. I can tell you, they uh, don't clean. You know, clean them out. What, what, what line is that in there? Well, it's rental under like parks. If you go under the parks, like on page seven, you'll see oh. rentals. Like I think Parks has one, the garage has one. Cemetery. Cemetery. The uh, village green. Green Center for uh not the center for the season, but uh, NBC. Fire department. The pool has one. Oh, yep. there's okay. So that's cool. Two fire stations. Yeah. So they're a little bit of a different room. So uh, those are fifty five hundred for the summer? Well, for the parks it is because you like you see you have village green, you have the you have the uh, peninsula. Hong Kong Beach. Yeah. Is there one at Haven? Village Green is planning on having two this year. So it's like on two. You got the ball field. Ball field. They have two. Yeah, I'm sure I'm forgetting because there's a bunch of parks. I can't remember. Um, North Delaware community has one. So it's like ten, 10 of them, so it's just 10, 12 of them. I would say, oh, is there two in each location? No. No, it's, I, I would say probably five or seven. I know some have two. Uh, There's probably 10 or 11. Just in parts alone. And fire station. And fire station. Okay. So for the whole year, basically, it's like 500 each. I think they're one. They're about 120, 150, depending on if it's a single right. unit or a handicap unit. It's 120, I think, a, a month for a single unit. And I think it's 150 or will be 150 for a handicap unit. So Nick, you're on page seven. seven. Yeah, then I was referencing the parks, maintenance, and rentals. Page mm -hmm. seven, 13, 10, 7, 06. Right. Anything else on that page? No. no. Could I ask a question? Go on. Back to page four. Yep. 3508. North Belgrade Community Center. Yeah. We left it at 3,000. 3,508. Yeah, 3,508. That's at 15, isn't it? Left at 3,000. But the bottom, the very bottom of page four. Is that what you mm -hmm. Yeah, the very bottom of page four. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, from my inspection today. That's North Belgrade. Yeah, North Belgrade. We do keep it the same. We have to that. I'm wondering if we should increase that. Okay, I'll put a note by it. Okay. Just so we 
Don't forget it. What's going on? The chimney needs repointing. Yeah. The back ramp is rotted on the bottom. The bottom of the door is rotted. The sill underneath the door is rotted. The bulkhead door is falling apart. I don't know what's underneath it. I haven't cut into it yet. It's rotted. It's rotted. Um, it's been that way. There's soft. It's what? It's been that way. Has it? Yeah. The soffit no, is, is no. had metal blown off it. So we need some metal rebuilt. I mean, rebent the soffit. I mean, just that back ramp. If you ask me, it's, it's on the north side of the building. Never gets sunshine, never yeah. gets used. Yeah. It needs to be replaced with a aluminum ramp so that we're not dealing with this again. But 3000 is not that kind. So, just let you know on the chimney, it has, I believe it has a, if I remember, a stainless steel liner in it already. But you can't let the outside go to pieces no. because it'll start leaking right. regardless of what's on the inside. No, just give me a heads up. You ain't going to worry about lining it. Good. That's good to hear. All right, so uh, we might consider that as a capital project. Like that whole thing, they said. Make it one thing, and, and you could, you know, uh, depending on what you do with your uh, public works, uh, that's something they could do, or you, I don't know how you guys want to do it, but you could even put it out to bid. Right. You know, however, mm -hmm. I don't know how busy you guys are. So, so. That was some of the busy. So you, you still have $7,500 more or less left over in 2022. Budget. Well, we still have heating electricity to, to go out. So that's going to be a lot of that. Um, they, I think I just mm -hmm. I haven't done a heating one yet for NBCC, but do you have any idea what's in the general fund at this time? Yeah, idea. But some of these capital expenses, can't we draw that through? Yeah, you, yeah. Undesignated. right. You can make an article, right? The so warrant article saying yeah. I want to take hundred thousand dollars and put it in the right. 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 I don't know. <laughs> you in these articles? I mean, when you set up a capital reserve or you have undesignated fund balance. I would think the board has every right to appropriate that into a special reserve. I don't I think no, that's 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 no. oh we have they have no authority to expend yeah. any money without legislative body yeah. approval. It has to go to vote. None. They already is tried that. Town that. law or where is that? That's state, state. law. State Are you law. Sure about that? Yeah. 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 yeah that's that's for me attorney. Yeah. It gets yeah. checked on it again for for yeah. one of these properties. Yeah, I know that. I know. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, counties um, are different. Yeah, I came from counties, are different. counties have more leeway, but, yeah. but municipalities, and towns, it's insane. So I know it's insane. Yeah, it's You're a state that's a change of laws. Yeah, that's the last, the last law. Well, talk to uh, MMA and have them change the law. <laughs> that's what they I'm serious. I'll that's tell serious. them to call you. Yeah, fine. I'll, I, I know Kate. I'll, I'll talk to her. No, it, it's a thorn in the side of. I'm, this is my third municipality. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, just go through Title 30A. I mean, it's you know, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, you know, the state Agreed. this and the state that, and, okay. you know, and it's like your hands are tied. The only way you can expend funds is if you've got the capital reserves set up and funded, and then of course you can expend money out of it because voters have already approved right. the funding of the reserve, the, the, and as long as you right. spend it on what. It's board, designated right. for you can right. do that. The select board can spend out of the capital reserves, but they can't spend out of the designated fund. No, which was at well, uh, three but, but can they appropriate it? No, two they can't even appropriate. No. How do you create reserves? You have to do it with a warrant article or at town articles. meeting or special town meeting. Yeah. You have like, to have voter like approval. John Q. Citizen has any clue about undesignated, committed, uncommitted. They, they have no clue. <laughs> yes. So, do you foresee that number going up or down this year? Yeah. I thought it was going to go down last year. It went up about 100 grand. I think it's going to go up this year. But, like I said, I was wrong last year. 
So I could be wrong again this year, but we were taking we're taking the four hundred and ten out to replenish capital reserves. We're using a lot of our revenue to offset this past. Um, I don't know. They've never done so with those two factors, I could see it going down a little. Uh, not a lot, but I could see it going down maybe a hundred grand. But like I said, I was wrong last year. We're not the hundred grand, so. So, and what's the recommendation for us to keep in that general fund? Uh, we're going to really help. I think it's 15% they want you to have in the general fund of your total municipal budget. budget. Okay. We have 30%. I think the others are. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. Did the RHR write you up on it? What's that? Did they write you up on it? Oh, I don't know who our auditor is. It's, it's not RHR Smith. It's not. No, what's the one that's helped for it? RJK? Oh, R, uh, RKO? RKO. I get them all yeah, okay. Because we used to have. RH or RH, yeah, okay. Yeah. RKO is good. The past three years we've had RKO. Yeah. In relation to the spending of money, what's the significance of Article 12 that we have passed as far as I can remember every year? To see if the town will authorize the board of select persons to act on the following. Spend an amount not to exceed on the fourth of the annual budget. I understand that. Vote to accept all overdrafts and balances that have elapsed and were not otherwise directed to the undesignated fund. So what is that? I'm, I'm, I'm saying that we tend to spend within the budget. Yes. I, I, and since the overall effect is to transfer from authorized expenditures differences that lapsed into the undesignated fund, right? Yes. But we also vote to accept all overdrafts and balances that have left and are not otherwise directed to the undesignated fund. So I'm wondering, I've always wondered whether the town may be too conservative in holding exactly what to the amount budgeted under an article or less, maintaining the spirit of what the town wants to do under that article. But if there's a small overdraft, haven't we voted to accept it under Article 12? So maybe that's a question for the attorney because where the issue we have it had at the last board meeting about a Dalton, if I'm reading that right, that's saying that the board, because it's an overdraft, the board can pull that out of the undesignated fund. Am I reading that correct? Well, if the town votes to accept all overdrafts. Right, which they did for, you know, 2022. Sometimes I, you know, I'm not trying to be. No, but that's a good, it's a very good point. I, well, I don't know if, because he still has money in his budget. So it wouldn't be an overdraft yet, yeah, because he has money to get through his this year. Oh, I can fix that. I know you can fix that. <laughs> Just give me the word. Um, so, but yeah, maybe that's something, I don't know. This is really the first. We have heard interpreting that, so maybe that is a word to look at. Yeah, I'll check it. I just wonder if sometimes we're a little bit too conservative. Right, no, I know. And not doing something. Right, that right. It needs to be done. Right. That's in the good interest of the town. But we've always voted to accept all over right. I, I No, I've never seen an article like that, no, to be it honest. It doesn't make sense for me. Well, <laughs> Jack just brought up, it's like, I kind of, I've never seen an article. Well, so I think they found, I think the Dalton account has enough money to pay for that movie. Did they well, try that last time? Or to do is is the intent of that article to, to authorize all balances to go to undesignated? Is that what the article is? All unspent. Right. Well, they do anyway. Right. Where else do they go? But I think that if it, and it, you'd have to check with, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that article has been there as long as I know. And I think that's something that the attorneys, or I don't know if that's something we're doing and we don't have to do anymore. I don't or know. ask the auditors. Yeah. Or maybe that is something from the auditor. I don't know. If you have a budget and you don't spend all of it, it doesn't right. just so, go into willy nilly. Well, I mean, we do, do have some. Yes, we do yeah. designate some to go to a right. um, to a yeah, capital yeah, reserve right. account right. on warrants. Yes. Right, but that's not that. Right, I think it's some of all the other ones. But we do have some. Right. Like it doesn't go. Well, we're not doing that anymore. We didn't oh, that's right. We took that out. 
if you're budgeting, you should be spending what you're you're taxing everybody on right. in the budget. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I'm having trouble with overdrafts and balances that have lapsed. What does that actually mean? That's it. I, that's, I think that's what Jack's asking. What does that mean? Yeah. No, I think we need interpretation for that. You know. I've got a note here. I'll check, check with them. Who, who wrote the warrant? Was it Ronta or yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, Anthony wrote it. So probably should be a fault warranting warrant. But that's it. Or Mayor, Mary would be probably yeah, one to ask because yeah. that, that's been in that. That's been a warrant article for, I've been following this since I was like 15 years old. So <laughs> it's been the same warrant article for 15, you know, since the years the warrant and chisel would be really the first one. <laughs> That's Jack, he's been at it one more night. I can't keep in 15 years. <laughs> yeah, you might reach out to RKO or the attorney. Oh yeah, I will. She's very helpful. Page you want to go to now? Uh, in terms of facility, I, I, I got, I'm getting hung up here a little bit. And uh, on page nine, when we were discussing the the rentals of the of the uh, page nine, yeah, uh, the rentals of the park, we said uh, it was a new total of. Uh, that. that was page seven. Page seven, I'm so, sorry. Yeah. Uh, it cost ten thousand dollars. So we said that it was both mm -hmm. part was 120 each uh toilet uh auto uh portable, and we have about 10 and it's for a year, every 12 months of the year, so it's about a, uh 125 times a hundred. So we actually talking about something um in the ballpark of more like twelve thousand dollars, but, but you don't have porta potties year round. We don't have porta potties year round, and also that's just parks that when that uh, we were talking about. So that's fifty five hundred. There's some budget in the garage for porta potties. There's some budget in North Bellwood Community Center for porta potties. So it's broken up okay. into their respective facilities and stuff. Okay. And like you said, it's not your thing. It's seven eight months. We're getting ready to pull. We get them in May. A lot of them. I think we got them in May. May to October or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So you, you keep the one at the garage year round, though, I think. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So no, no, all of them are year round. That's the best fact. Fire station tried to hold that one a little longer. Yeah, you said that. you wanted to keep them until November. November. Yeah, yeah, November would be nice. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I, just, I just don't want to be short. And no, no, yeah. It's all it's just the the one who wants to raffle. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, next thing I got is on page eight. Okay, let's go. Do you have in your online for the plumbing and heating, do you have in the estimates for? Town office? No, that's uh, eight Dalton, I believe it is. Yeah, this yeah. is Dalton. Yes, 3506. Yep, I see yeah. it. Um, do you have the quotes and stuff in for 100% of the plumbing repairs and 100% of the heating repairs. And you know, that is not in here. No. Nope. So I'll put a note by that. Yeah, I think Corey's got the got all done. Yeah, right here. We're here, but yep. So this just needs to be updated with those figures, right, Corey? Yep. Do you, do you have enough in there for the building repairs and stuff? Because that's only a five. I just want to make sure we have enough in here so we can take care of everything. Is well, they were talking about the insulation, right? After the first of the year, right? So, was were they talking about taking them out of this, or were they? That insulation was just that. The insulation would take all of that, right? So, so probably, probably the Dalton, probably eight Dalton. You guys gonna have to back, go back and revisit that one. Okay, I'll just circle. And on a septic pump, and yet, I know it's just two hundred dollars. You only need to figure that for every two years. 
on on a rental property, you know, like eight and ten dollars. High use, the high use facilities need to be done yearly, low use every two years. Got another credit there. I see that. <laughs> You're styling now, 200 bucks extra. <laughs> 200 is 200. I don't want to do that. I don't know if this was that bad. And on the historical house, that yeah, four twenty five. Is that cool to do? Well, uh, is that going to happen this year? You think? I've I've, I've got a request to Joey Gilbert of Seacoast, which um, I think I cc you on yep. this afternoon. They don't do a standalone system unmonitored, which is what the select board asked for an estimate on. So my first question, I probably should have asked that question at the board meeting the other night. How expensive is it to put the phone line in there? I have $49 a month. <laughs> to put a spectrum? Phone line in. <laughs> for sure. Oh. We just added the second phone line to spectrum. Seacoast C- C- will charge um, $49 a month for monitoring and like any uh, communications right. utility, they always have these sections. Because I know consolidated, I have, and stuff. I have a consolidated line over in Sydney, and that's only $31 a month. So it might be worth checking. I'll check with um, consolidated. Yeah. I don't I don't have phone service at my house, so I, is that the only one here we have? Consolidated. We got that. You got um, Spectrum. Spectrum is who we do now. Yeah. And I know, like I said, I just added an extra line to the Center for All Seasons, and that's $49 a month. Yeah, I think we need to need to probably look look at that throughout the next year for phone lines. I know sometimes the packaging, but looking at what they're charging us for internet service, we're not getting a very good package deal from Spectrum. So maybe we ought to split it up and start doing our phone lines back out through Consolidated. And Consolidated's doing the fiber everywhere. Now, well, bus everyone's on all the poles up here anyway. So they've started up on the other end of 27. Yeah, I'm right. Right. The yeah. When's the next franchise agreement with Spectrum? I think we just had it. Yeah, oh. I want to say we just did. Well, I think I saw some emails. Was it, uh, I think the, it was, this summer? Yeah, it was okay. signed just how before long? you came. Yeah. For how long? <laughs> I want to say it's even three or five. Okay, because when I looked at it when I first moved here, it was 12 years. Do you remember how long it was? I don't think it, I think I thought it was three. I okay. think it's a three year because yeah, I can, can check. the problem was is we missed it for multiple years. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you need to hammer them. Well, yeah. The internet is unfortunately for the last month, it's well, it's gotten worse. Yeah. Especially down my way. Yeah. Yeah. And cell service has got some works. Yep. <laughs> um, same thing, page eight, the plumbing. You probably want to increase that to. Um, Cause I got to do, I got to rebuild the system in here. Okay. So you probably want to bring that to 15. Total, 15 total? Yeah. Okay. That is, you know, that's going to be over a thousand in there. Okay. But that's not going to cover any other repairs. So. Right. Good. 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 Very technical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn's coming. You all have a good night. <laughs> Standard with you. You're working for free. Yeah. I've been working for free for too long. <laughs> you always want something for nothing. That's right. So, uh, 
So the security system in the library year to date only cost us uh, 129.18. I think I just got a bill for them. I think that's going to wipe that out. I think it was 4 something. One something. So it costs us about five hundred a year. Then. Yeah, I well, I'll, yeah. Now that I got that bill, I'll find it to like six hundred or something. So the library does that? Does that include burglary, fire, and CO, or just Not fire? I don't think it has fire. I think it has a few cameras and they're monitored, obviously. I, we have systems in this town. It doesn't have fire and CO. On. I think it doesn't have fire. I have the. Does it have fire? Know. Is there a red panel on the wall next to the regular security one? I can no, know. there's one That's single it. security panel. That's it's a red panel, but it's got the uh, the keypad on it. But that's the except. And red plus, plus, that's a oh, uh, that'd be up to the friends of the library. But I don't know if that has a pain on the near not the gas detector in there or not. That's commercial. Oh, yeah, energy, yeah. So it needs to have. I don't know that we don't know the building, but no, I'll, I'll double check that. Yeah, just I mean, I, the 500 doesn't bother me. I just, I just, sure I just said, I didn't realize that we had burglar alarm and we don't bother to put smoke and CO in at the same time. I think it's kind of foolish. So, half an hour behind. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Happens. Good, good talks. Uh, half an hour behind. Mm -hmm. I would say that. Well, but we're supposed true. to start the cemetery talk at all six fifty, and it's seven thirty already. Oh wow! Cemetery should be too bad. You're on one page. And <laughs> <the> <laughs> so yeah, that will go quick. Yeah, we'll quick. Like I said, the one thing is. Is the wages? It's a. Um, we said we'll we'll see what you guys think. Basically, it's a thirty-two hour week from May to October at seventeen dollars an hour for a sexton. I think is what I had. It. Yeah, thirty-two thirty-two hours at seventeen May to October. So, okay, I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Yeah. So let's go back to between facilities and public works. Can't we? The, can't we fill that? The sexton needs to be full time from April until the end of November. And actually, sex needs to be full time year round because that program in there takes a lot of work. And it's, it's still not complete, and it's not going to get complete until we have somebody that can do it. He, it's not going to be able to do it with plowing and doing building facilities. That's why we, as a cemetery committee, which I'm speaking on the other members had asked for a full-time sexton um two 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 cycles ago didn't you right um in the winter months yes they can help plow or okay. shovel or do other stuff Wait, so that, that letter was sent to the select board at the beginning of the summer no yeah so so i guess my question is the assistant facilities full-time person how much an hour was you put in that person? Uh, Twenty dollars. Okay, so I, I I have big disagreement with that. Okay, with the the, uh, the sexton should be more than the uh, assistant. Yes, because the sexton is going to have a lot more responsibility. The sexton is going to have to have responsibility of finding where a burial is going to be, finding people's lots, inputting into the um, Sims program, um, dealing with, you know, buying, you know, dealing with buying, selling. There's a lot, okay. there's a lot for Sexton. So Sexton should be higher pay than uh, the assistant. Or oh, you think like 21 then or? Yep. Is that you're saying you want Is that full -time? I'm, I'm saying full time, I'm saying switch it around. Should be a full time Sexton. Oh, I see what you're saying. So then have a part time assistant year round. Correct. And the cemetery section could help out with facilities basically. Yeah, in the winter months. Well, but from, from April from April to the end of November, they're directly in the cemetery. I mean, he can answer for it, and he still has Mike Keno still helping him. Yeah. 
He no, can I answer don't. that with the phone calls and dealing with people and funeral homes and this and that. That's almost a full time job during the week. Okay, it is. Okay. <clears throat> Look, I, I've got people who are still looking to buy cemetery plots. I've got a burial tomorrow. And yeah, it's, okay. how many burials a week you would have? Right now, it's just. It's almost like you have one every week. Don't yeah. You? On a weekend? Yeah. When I first started, there was, what did we do? Five or six? Right away, yeah. When yeah. we first started, we did, I think, three, three, in, one three in one day. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so not every day. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> the springtime, you could have up to 20, 21 in the spring. Spring returns. Yeah. Does that include benefits? Well, I have all time is benefits. Right. So, don't get, so I mean, 21, you're looking at. You know, fifty-five, sixty thousand dollars. That's off the top of my head. That, and that's with this year's health numbers. So it could be quite a bit more than that. I mean, it, it's just I'm just one person, but I dealing with you know the cemetery stuff and being around help you know on the facility stuff also. And I think that's where it needs to be. Is the the part time needs to be facilities. You need to make it a, you know, this is what we as a cemetery committee have been asking for for two years now. Well, and then the other issue is with the town. I mean, not that I have anything to do with it, but a lot of other stuff is not that we have a short season to get other things done on other facilities. And it's just with the facilities guys doing all the burial stuff, we're not getting other stuff done. I've asked for things to be done at the transfer station building for years. There's never any time because Mm -hmm. They're taking care of the cemetery and yeah. doing burials. If you're looking for a full time sex time, 40 hours a week, then we should have two full time people. We should have a full time sexton and we should have a full time maintenance assistant. I don't think the suck boys mess all that. That may be. I can, that's my opinion. I can put that in. And I mean, we're going to meet again and I'll show you those numbers. You can say, yeah, let's try it. And or yeah, it'd be nice like, to see you. Okay. I mean, right. I'm, I'm speaking out of turn here, but uh, does the budget you... committee wish to see that? I guess I should have. Uh, I I would like to see it, and but then also talking about sexton full time, I have a hard time um, supporting that. I just did not picture it. A person that uh, uh, and, and have forty full forty hour week dealing with one usually more more or less one person per week. That's just burials. Okay. That's not helping with lawn yeah, maintenance. Yeah, help, help me a lot of ideas. Helping with lawn maintenance. Oh, okay. Helping with, um, oh, the cemetery. Se oh, yeah. Okay. That, that, the sexton's full time position is the cemetery. Six of them, to be exact, that they would help when they're not doing burials, when the, the Sims system is so far behind and up, being updated with the amount of burials that are in there. What, what is the sim system? Uh, it tracks every cemetery plot that we have. Okay. Um, and so that's like, 25%, a, like, a, like a mapping? 25% of it's utilized. Yeah, 25% uh, utilized. It's going to take, if you had a full time person in the winter months, it's probably going to take like four to five winter storm to get everything inputted. Yeah. Interesting. Because it's so far behind. It's amazingly far behind. Yeah, every every facility we had in Coon Corey does not have time to go in there and input that stuff. And then they still have to deal with selling plots, um, perpetual care sales, um, dealing with burials, you know, telling people how much it costs for burials, a snap. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, it doesn't end. They get to mark, you know, like he's got to go mark out for stones. You know, so it takes in the summer months. That, that's his job is about thirty hours. So now plus. you're doing that for part time. Is, is I'm doing part -time. both facilities maintenance and sexton. And so you you want to need if, so if we had a new position, you would just give that sexton part to somebody new, not you, or you want to do that? Yeah, somebody else new would do it. Yeah. Is what I'm hearing is that that person has to have some technical skills. Yes, you got to know. They got to. They got to have skills. at least the same skills that Corey's got. Yeah. Corey's pretty handy with that. He's probably the best one ever that star that we've had do with, with the sense. 
there's a lot of work with the cemetery yeah. and it's not even close to being caught up not even close i mean i'm guessing my keynote's probably well right now you got volunteers going on but between mm -hmm. the volunteers and my keynote they're probably putting in 30 40 hours a week if you count them all together well, phil and phil and bob bob are marking out lots lots my keynote is still assisting with burying people and finding plots to sell and fielding a lot of the calls. Yeah, fielding a lot of the calls. It's, it's never in. <clears throat> the rates that we charge for burials and for perpetual care consistent with rates that other towns in the area are charging? Yes. No. Unless it's changed since it's we just changed. I say because we just updated that. You can, you, we're updated, but we're still behind. If you talk to the funeral directors, like we've, you know, we've had somebody call and say, how much is it going to cost over a 500 bucks on the weekend? He says, if I was doing that down here, Southern Maine or other areas, it's 1500 bucks. Yeah. The problem is, about, we, we went for more, but the board shot us down. Yeah. So, no, I know we're just talking about expenses tonight, but uh, they've got to be covered somehow. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the yeah. problem, the problem is, is what we charge for burials, way the bar is stated. The only thing, so that's where it's a kind of a, a weird thing. So if they cut, if the town, they cut the town, pay him, we'll say one hundred fifty dollars to do a burial on a weekend. <coughs> And we charge five hundred dollars that burial. The town gets one hundred and fifty dollars. The rest of it goes into the court court. Why'd well, you pull the portfolio? It's a uh, perpetual care. Perpetual care. Yeah. yeah. You can't. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's And we it's, found out we kind of get. It's one of those flat. very. Yeah, that's another one we need to change. Yeah. All of that perpetual care. Because you can't, you can't use that money. Yes, the earnings off every year. But thank God we got finally got a good investment company, so we actually get some earnings off it. Yeah, you see, in my country, we don't do that. You know, the municipal uh, 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 cemetery is all concrete, and there's only one person I already known since a little girl that they care of it. And it, there's no computers or, or plots. He knows where everybody is. You go there, you give the name, and he knows where it is. So, different system altogether. Hey, Dan. So, and it's much smaller than here, though. So, the cemetery there is like that. The tombs are on top of each other. Here, so people have space. We try to avoid that. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I know that for sure. I just want to, so I'll do a full time section, like 21 an hour. We have year round benefits. I'll put down the cemetery budget. We'll keep facility the same. We'll just see what this looks like. Yeah. Okay. Just, you know, I just know on how the board is. Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know. I know. You, you, you deal with, yeah. You know. So, any more questions about the uh, budget for the cemetery? So shall we move to public works? So I guess one of my questions on public works, we go get too deep into it. Are we planning to budget any money for public works this year? I mean, I made a suggestion at the last board meeting. I'm hoping that that falls. We should um, capital like a capital reserve. That, that was what to I start. Heard. Yeah, start funding them. Jack, you had mentioned that as well, um, and a lot hinges on what we'll end up with for any prospects for location, which it's going to depend on November eighth fall. Yeah, because that hinges a lot with the Belgrade lot. Which would really be the perfect solution, but yeah, let, uh, there are so many unknowns. The best we could do would be um, provide um, some sort of a draft 
budget based on a similar town, similar miles of road to care for. Um, and then at our road committee meeting, we discussed estimates for trucks, equipment, and that sort of thing. We did get uh, insurance estimates to get some idea of what that impact would be. And that's what Nick gave you. Um, it's not in your binder, but he printed this out and um, provided everybody with a copy. So workers comp based on the estimated wages would be somewhere around 22.5. And then property casualty, $1,100. Um, dollars for each heavy dump truck, 850 for a small pickup with a plow, and loader would be about 1100 So those are annual costs for insurance. Mobile equipment, um, I'm not sure that we would purchase mobile equipment. You could rent. You mean by mobile equipment like an excavator or? Um, no, um, like a rental of a uh, snow, snow blowers okay. or something, yeah. you know, it's not something you would purchase. It would be something you would rent because you don't use it once in a while. Um, so those, these costs are not reflected in what's in your binder. We just got those, um, and I forwarded to yeah. But in, this, in response to Bruce's question, I think if the town doesn't have an assured contractor, qualified contractor, lined up by perhaps April of next year, right after the town meeting, that the town is in real danger of not being able to have the roads plowed by the fall of 2024, because to do whatever is necessary for public works for the town to do it itself is going to take time, it's going to be money for planning, for selecting a site, building a building or acquiring a building to house the trucks to do it, or hiring qualified people you don't do that at the very last minute. You have to have those people ready to go by late October of the, of the year. The town needs permission to go ahead with a with planning and spending some money on planning if there isn't a contractor signed up or at least a qualified contractor uh, identified and agreed on a finding basis, really, to plow the roads after the spring, after the starting the fall of 2024. So, Jack, do you think we should go out to RFP in January? Pardon? Do you think we should go out to RFP in January for a plowing contract, for a three-year plowing contract? Well, I, I, whether we go out to an RFP or not, we need to have an identified, locked-in, qualified contractor by the fall of 2024. Right. And that's not a something that can be kicked down the road. No, that's what I'm it's, saying. It's a deadline. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. I think I'm thinking if we want to make sure we that we get a qualified bidder or can get a qualified bidder and to be assured that we will have a qualified bidder, I think you need to put an RFP out this January or before and have an you know and give it 30, you know, have it back before town, you know, town meeting, town vote, whatever happens. And, and that's fine. If we can do it with a contractor who is qualified and responsible and has a good reputation, probably that's the best way to go. But if, if you can't find somebody, if we don't do something seriously to get into this public work business on the next town, by the next town meeting, it's going to be too late. I think the um, current contract runs 
out in May of 2024. I've spoken with three companies about plowing. Nobody is interested. Um, the state's having difficulty finding someone to do their um, state roads here. They told me. Um, and anybody they con contacted who might be interested, um, they're really, the, the cost is phenomenal. Yeah. Um, so I guess my, we have to finalize warrant articles, I believe. Um, January, the January 10 meeting yeah. will be the last budget meeting for the select board where they'll finalize and do the warrant for town meeting. So, and you, you're not going to change anything after that because, right. um, because of the timeline for voting absentee ballots and all of that. So do you think is a ch any chance that you could get either what is of yes, we would bid or no, we won't bid from a bunch of companies. I'm just thinking of what the board's gonna wanna hear. Mm -hmm. And I may be talking, you know, if you could get letters from these big contractors that do plowing saying, you know, yeah, we'll do it, but it's gonna cost you X amount of dollars a mile, or no, we're not gonna do it, we're not interested. And then the board sees that, then it makes it our job a little bit easier for budgetary and I mean I right now in my eyes I'm thinking I'm thinking it's going to cost us two hundred thousand dollars to buy a truck yes I know we're going to bond some of this but I'm thinking that you're going to want to start a three hundred thousand dollar capital reserve but I mean if if you got a plow contract that's coming in then you start out at a fifty thousand and start building it up for you know next four years well, if you don't have a contractor you got to do it now have, you've got to have some money for planning it next year right that's what i'm saying I, so i'm thinking three hundred thousand. you can't wait until 2004. and and the other thing is if we're going to have to plow these state roads as far as i'm concerned that half a million dollars for that building tech the dlt will need to give us that for a dollar like they were supposed to do what they was going to do a few years ago if we plowed in roads and well, still yeah, i'm not saying we should or shouldn't contract with the state to do that but we better be sure what we're getting into we, we need to know what the sure state standards are we need to know what the liability is we need to know every aspect of what the obligation is before we take it on we're probably going to need extra trucks extra, one, at least one, one extra one. people to do that one person and one truck and i posed all of those questions um to the state and again the gentleman who should have all of this information to give to me is on vacation right. this week but like i said that, that's the other thing is is that I, i'm not happy with a half a million dollars considering we're going to take over that water system they should give it to us right for dollar because a plow truck and an employee until infinity cost the town a great deal of money, way more than half a million dollars. Right. So yes, it, it helps them because it takes over what they can't get done, right? And then it helps us. But it's a, it's a long-term commitment to get into it. It it's, is. It's a long-term commitment and $500,000 can be dissipated pretty quick. Right, but if you're gonna get stuck with it, you might as well get but you can't about. build a facility like that for half a million. No, not even close. I mean, we're what the and it's already. I mean, it's right. already set up I mean, for I mean, everything that you need. And there's central fire station. You don't have to have three and five million. That's quite a quandary. <laughs> Well, I think there has to be language in the budget proposal to the town at the next town meeting to move forward in some way, in but a definite way. That's, I mean, and the board's got to get, you know, you and I both spoke very strongly to the board last, last meeting to the board about this, is the board needs to get on board and they need, but to me, it seems like they're still kind of dragging their feet, heels a little bit. And I think they need to pull their heels out. They need to be realistic. And the deadline, to me, I feel the deadline is January 10th. 
is we get I, I, I agree with that. We we get we get to have a decision by January 10th. It has to be in the warrant. Right. It has to be something in the next warrant. Right. So wouldn't you want to go out for an RFP now? Or at least a letter of content. Because you can't wait till January to go out with the RFP right. if the warrant has to be done by so January. So maybe that's yeah. something you may want to ask the board <clears throat> for their okay to go out to RFP at your next board meeting. Tuesday night. Yeah. Is it too late to get on their agenda? No, we have an agenda out there. Can somebody help me with what? What is it? RFP request for proposal. proposal. Okay. So I, I even will say that the deadline to me is almost like mid-November. Because one Thanksgiving hits and Christmas hits, things get on a walk all together. So going going out to RFP is pretty easy though because all we've got to do is pull the previous. RFP. The previous RFP and Change get dates. it out there. Give them, yeah. yep, give them thirty days. Yeah, yeah. Have it back no later than the fifteenth of December or the tenth of December. Mm -hmm. So, can somebody elaborate on, on what is the protocol and process for the RSP? Uh, is that something that the select board have to sign? Or? They have to. Yes, they would have approve. to approve it. Approve it to go out. Yeah, it's their decision. Okay. So then, then after that, if it goes to get it out, send it to whoever, yeah. put a deadline on it. Yep. Usually it goes in the newspaper, MMA. Our like, website, Facebook, yeah. any place yeah, you can put it. So that's how we get bids. Yeah. 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 It, it's basically a notice that the town is accepting proposals for a particular purpose, which would be the snowplow contract. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. See, we don't do that in my country either. <laughs> That's why they're where they are right now. And it has to be more than just a letter of interest. It has to be a, a, a commitment. Yeah, okay. a three-year contract. Contract, yeah. Which so, be, so that, that's be like a, uh, hard to get somebody to, because our current contract doesn't end until May of 2024. So, so you're asking shocked. them to bid, bid on something. For winter well, twenty four. Actually, the contract so that does be like a bid in fact. So yeah, in a sense. But it's called winter twenty twenty four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not until twenty twenty five, twenty twenty four, twenty five. Right. Winter. That you would need it. Yeah. 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 But so problem problem to us, we have to start preparing. Well, yeah. So yeah. You so have to start point. planning now. You can't wait right. until no, the end of twenty twenty four. Right. I mean, we have to. We really should have a public works going by. Spring of May, uh, spring of 2024, exactly. to start doing summer road maintenance. Yes. And gearing up the equipment for winter planning, getting mm -hmm. our stands. I mean, so really, the winter of 2024 is probably when you start hiring. So, you think of the next, we hit the, the side board next week with this? Uh, I, yep, I'll pose that um, Melanie's the one who finalizes the agenda. So, so we, if we are in the poll event the first week of November. No, yeah, maybe. Yeah. If yeah. the board, if the board approved it, we could have it out. Uh, I could have it out next week. As long as you have sure. a copy of it, to, if she'll accept it, make sure you have a copy of it for them to yes, go over it and review. Yeah. So it doesn't delay, you know. Over number two, so, two weeks or number two weeks, and then another two weeks. Yeah, we know how that. Yeah, we, we so to, to meet up the works. January 10th deadline, then we'll have to have bids maybe within uh, by the end of the November, mid, mid December, I guess. Is what I'm getting at. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say try to have it back before the board's second meeting in December. That's good. I played around with an article that I. Or a draft article, which would be so sent to Warren. Yes, you did. Yeah. This, this this re just reflected my my thinking of the time for this upcoming town meeting. And the article was public works department to see if the town will approve capital cost expenditures up to a limit of a million three hundred thousand dollars to plan, organize, site, house, equip, and man a public works department for the town maintenance and snow plowing. Starting April 1, 2023. 
that's after the next town meeting. Provided a qualified contractor cannot be engaged by said date to plow town roads after the current snow plowing contract expires in April 2024. Under this article, uh, expenditures under this article shall be funded from Belgrade's undesignated fund and TAN borrowing throughout the remainder of 2023 and 2024. Thereafter, any remaining capital and borrowing costs for the Public Works Department shall be funded as a select board proposes and future town meetings may decide. Good afternoon. Thank you, Jeff. It's very, very good, actually. Uh, we're all right this year and next year. After that, we have a boy. And you can't do it overnight. No. And it's very expensive too. So what, what we're saying again to recap is that by in mid December, we don't have bids back. I'll I will I will get an um RFP ready, run it by Melanie and see if she'll approve putting it on, on the, the agenda. agenda. If she does, I'll have the RFP for the select board to review at their meeting Tuesday the, the 18th. If they approve that, I'll get it out no later than the Friday of next week. Um, and we could have that back November 28th. That's about 30 days. Yeah. And we could have that, so we could have that ready for their first uh, select board meeting in December. It'll help us a lot for budget. Thank you. So if, if Melanie approves that for the agenda for Tuesday. Right. Then. And maybe, you know, I'm just speaking as one of the committee, but maybe if the committee, you know, statement the committee, our budget committee is recommend, recommending that, it would be great. Okay. I'm just one, but. So we're moving on to page 14. Page 14 is more public works. Yeah, we'll we'll all that still. So we're closing that section then. Oh, so now we're going to have some. All right. Thank you. Okay. What a great name. So, <laughs> so um, just, I mean, I know to this, and I, I don't know the name of the gentleman here. That's Corey. Corey. I'm Kenny. Kenny, thank you. That's Dan. Dan. That's Jared. Excellent. Sarah. Great. Yeah, no, I don't. Sarah. <laughs> Great, thanks. <clears throat> um, Corey, is there anywhere in this budget um, that reflects where the roofing quote might go in? Or the, the transfer Yeah. Don't look at me. That's going on. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, the transfer station needs a new roof. The roof is going to need to be repaired. Has yeah. money ever been? Have we ever raised money for no. that? No. no. How long has it been that you? Yeah, it's just it's starting to get there because yeah. we noticed probably about a month or so ago a wet spot up on the ceiling inside the recycle center. So, Corey, we're having um, the roof done on 8 Dalton, and Corey got an estimate from the same company for the transfer station, which he just told me tonight. Um, he spoke with the gentleman. That roof quote is $22,000. $22,000. So, has anybody checked on? So does the shingles look bad? Or? Yeah, well, there's a couple of shingles missing on the ridge, which is oh. which isn't where the um, not on the ridge, but on the side. That happened years ago, and that's not bothering. Anything. So it's not bad shingles. 
bad shingles. Is there lifting up? They're starting to lift okay. up. So them, them that roof should be still under warranty for humans. Then that, that asphalt, that asphalt roof's not that old. Yeah, but you know, we had we had that issue with a few years back where we had a windstorm and um, I think it was the Halloween storm. And uh, Gary was supposed to get the FEMA money, and I don't know what that, the insurance was supposed to cover that was singles that ripped off. Yeah, I don't think warranty is going to cover that. No, it won't cover ripped off ones, but if you got shingles that are curling no, up, no, they're not curling up. Okay. They just they, they were, I don't think they were installed properly because they're flopping in a heavy high wind. You can see shingles. Yes, it has done by the heat, so we've got high winds coming. This I don't think it's going to tear them Weather off. Weather alert tonight oh. through Saturday morning. What? Three inches of rain mm -hmm. and Friday. high winds. Friday, Friday right? No one just not Third, tomorrow. Oh, what's today? Wednesday. No, it is tomorrow. Wednesday. 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 Thursday night. Okay, just as long as it's Thursday night. Thursday night. But it's going to have to be. It's going to have to be replaced. That possibly not this year. I mean, we could probably get through. But I just noticed that wet spot when I showed it to you what a month or so ago. So there was FEMA money that came in. I have no idea whatever happened to it. Probably went to the general fund. But this was before Nick was I, sitting in that chair. Yeah. I, I mean, if, if that if there's money that wasn't used and there was money Dennis that was, Dennis was town manager at the time. Mary might know. And Gary, and Gary Foss was, was, was calling. Travis may know a little bit about that. Okay. Travis was involved with the FEMA, trying to get the FEMA money. If, if we had it and we didn't use it and there was no allocation for it, it went to the general fund. So. Yeah, probably where it went to. But if it did, if we got money for it and it did go in the general fund, it gives us a little bit a leeway to pull it up back out of the general fund to do a capital project. All right, so Corey said he had the roofing guy in, so why don't we get an estimate while he's here in town and see what it's going to cost us to do that. Okay. And it's 22000 and 23000 Make sure that's on the next agenda at our meeting, please. Get on here, no. It'll be done before then. <laughs> So that, that's not here in this week. No. Okay. Something to keep in mind, and it sounds like you all are going to talk about it at your next transfer station. But that would be a facilities maintenance budget item, not a, not a transfer station. Oh, okay, capital. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't yes. be capital. That would be capital. That would yes. be capital. Very capital expenditure. Yeah, so it doesn't really come So that go on to, would that go on to special projects? No, that would be um, no. uh, it would come out of um out of capital reserve. I don't know which I guess your facilities, I don't know if it'll fall under solid waste. I don't know. I, don't know we, I say we ain't got enough in our capital reserve. We got just enough and we gotta keep that. So hundred thousand, just about a hundred thousand yeah. in capital reserve. Yeah. Yes. And the only way that we're replenishing that these days is through the general fund. Right. And that would have to get a warrant for the warrant article for the tax. That's, that's kind of an emergency if we have a Catastrophe failure on a quick all back to insurance policy, basically. So I don't know where we're landing with that. I mean, if it had to be replaced, it would have to be. I mean, if we sprung a leak, we'd have to we'd have to raise and appropriate it from somewhere. Else. Well, if we sprung the leak, we'd have to take it out of the capital reserve account, no. When would that be repairs? It would, I would think just so. build and repair so it comes out of yeah. facilities. It's, uh, I mean, there's a facilities cap reserve that they mean it's empty basically right now. Yeah. Oh, how the mine's empty? I don't know. Well, but we, we can replenish that. If you, you know, we can like ask for a warrant. We you took that. Ask. We took that cap reserve to offset the budget last year. <laughs> <laughs> we have <laughs> been <laughs> and we've done it to the transportation capital reserve quite a few times, actually. Yeah, transfer station was used to help build this building. <laughs> yeah. So where, where'd the money go? All of a sudden it was gone. All right, well, whatever. Any, anything, Nick, that sticks out to you? Uh, his budget? Yeah. Not really. I mean, it's a beautiful budget. I would say that. <laughs> so you put this page together? It's beautiful. No, I mean, he's going up on disposal fees. He always goes up on disposal fees. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, we get his wages. Yeah. His wages are going up for the same reasons, though. We talk about facilities. Just you can't hire anyone at fifteen dollars an hour doing the work that they do. It, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's all in disposal fees and wages. wages. And that's it. And a few little incidental things, a dollar here and a dollar there, but we're also dropping a couple of spots, a few, a few bucks. So. so his disposal, had you gotten waste management bills when you did the... I just got some to, uh, today. Yeah, it's not in... So the, that, okay. that was... So is your waste management up 3%? 3% um, every July 1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Marshall grinding and waste management was 20 grand probably just on this last one. Yeah. So, what? Right. Oh, we're moving some stuff out now. It's grinding, yeah. So, so uh, uh, 2013, the $160,000, that is what we paid to haul the stuff out. Yep. In a tipping fee. That's all in the tipping fee. And we, we use about the same amount of money to labor that. It's 169,000. That's, well, that's for recycling also, 169. Right, so there's revenue coming in on that end. Right. Yeah. So we've got revenue coming in from the recycling and so yeah. Okay. Which, don't have any of that revenue. Revenue, I mean, he, he's past his 30,000. Yeah, we're close to 40. Actually. Yeah, we're way yeah. past. And we're still going. Maybe the next meeting, if we can. Yeah, I can get the goal. I'll put it back together for that. As of the end of October. Yeah, that's. What, what are the, uh, the, special, the special projects that we have going there? Uh, ten thousand yeah. dollars this this particular year. Um, that's going to go to finishing off um, the new office, mm -hmm. and hopefully we're going to get a, a backup propane heater put in into the uh, recycle, uh, recycle center. We heat on waste oil, and unfortunately, I've not been getting as much waste oil. We've lost a lot of our. Uh... And one of our main supplies, he actually passed away. And mm -hmm. we were getting a lot of waste oil from him, Walt LaPlante. Um, so, yeah, uh, probably lost 150 gallons a year right there. And a couple of other places started, got their own, got their own, their own waste oil heaters. So, we're not getting their waste oil anymore either. So, we want to just be safe and have a backup. With a propane heater. It's, it's got to stay warm. Uh, do we have a, uh, I don't, when I've been there, I can, I can only remember how seeing it. Do we have like a composting area in the? We do for lawn waste. Okay. Uh, yard and lawn. All the way down back. All the way back, huh? I guess I have been there. The, the reason I asked it, it um, it'd be nice to have, um, I don't know how that can be arranged as the side to the budget. It'd be nice to have kind of a, since I have it here, have a kind of a field trip for the, for the elementary school kids. I won't go on over checking all that out. I don't know how we can, we can arrange that, but that would not be part of the budget. Is he allowed to be I allowed? To just, you, can tell, you can tell I am, I am in the school board too. So um, um, that, that we, well, I believe that the town has actually done uh, yeah. quite a few things with the kids with recycling in the past. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, in the summer, I used to years ago go to the um, Center for all seasons with the kids and yeah. just go over recycling yeah. and teach them a bit about it. Um, and you know, they did a contest with the elementary the school. Elementary school. school. I, I still have all the pictures, all the yeah. paintings that the kids made for recycling. And as many snowbirds people that we have in town and that around the area, you go to Florida and there's no recycling there. Nothing. And and you feel when you go there and visit. You feel, you know, you feel out of place because you dumping everything in the same bag. 
So I'm glad that we're doing that here. And uh, yeah, we do lots of it. Um, culturing that is, 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 is part of the job of the town altogether as community. Yeah. So doing that kind of thing is cool. Yeah. Just seating you, it's all that kind of thing. Just give me a call. <laughs> that would be sweet. Thank you. <laughs> uh, going back to the budget. So um, uh, we're done with page 16. We're all good with that. Page 17. That's the, there's not much. He moved some funds around, but it's all pretty much the same. You have, have you found if you're going to be able to cut back on your? I don't know. They just did. Um, you talk about. You're going to talk about well testing. Uh, we yeah. just did it two two weeks ago, so we haven't gotten the results back. Um, so that but Haley Ward did the testing, and they had to do the PFAS testing, which the state is obviously pay, paying for. Um, where after this round of testing, we'll find out from the EP what we still need to test. And so you should know something before we could cut the Dunn Road one. We we could cut that before the yeah. budget's done. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm. I did cut the uh, Chandler Road one. Um, we do Chandler Road because it's been every year. Uh, we cut it a hundred bucks. That hasn't gone up in forever. I, I missed the point. Where, where, where do you see the testing? Um, it's under uh, the, the the well testing is under uh, Dunn Road, okay. solid waste, forty one hundred dollars. That's for um, maintaining it, mowing it, and well tests. So when you guys do well tests, you do it like right at the site, or, or yeah, okay, yeah, they come they, they come in and um, go up on the old landfill. Yep. And they test the wells right up there. Then the lab will get us the results. So they send the results that we reported to the DEP. And, um, and the DEP will let us know. I made a request two years ago. We're down to only two wells now that we're testing from before. Okay. So in all that record, was that, was that kept here in the town office? Or yeah, we have records here and at the DEP. Sweet. And the Haley they, Ward, the, the lab that does the testing. Well, but physically, where the records are kept at the town office? Yes. We should be able to pull those up online too, right? Mm -hmm. We should be able to. I, I never have. I never have. Okay. I don't understand them to be good. There's a lot of. Um, yeah, so we, the report probably, is this thick. We have some chemical that, stuff. And I, we have an engineer that's on the that's committee. That's why we have Tom on the committee and say, Tom, <laughs> translate this, please, because I don't understand half the words. I just know what trends look like. If they're going down, that's good. <laughs> Very good. If they're going, if the line is going up, that's bad. Good, bad. <laughs> well, um, uh, one last question. So that that three uh, three hundred and sixty thousand dollars for licenses, what that entails? That's all DEP licensing. Really? Yeah. What was it? For How one town or a quarter million dollars? No, 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 that's wrong. That, you were reading that wrong. So that page 17, 4607. Yeah, I'm not looking at the same book, unfortunately. I'm sorry, license is $700. Only Thank you. <laughs> underneath that, I said, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I wait, skipped the line. Happening? I skipped the line. So underneath it says time for station. So that uh, $360,000 is. That's a total budget. Total. OK. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Listen, the thing is that on the top of the 4607 says licenses. Yes. And I then am. they have this those three lines there. And and so I think what well, license is doing on these. Nick did it. Yeah, okay. that's my fault. <laughs> 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 okay. Right. Excellent. So that's we don't we don't page 17. Yeah, sure. I think I think the uh, Belgrade solid waste facility is well managed and it's a good facility. So uh, any remarks I make here, I don't want to be misinterpreted because I'm, I'm being, being critical. I think the two biggest items by far in the budget 
are the fees that we paid for disposal and the, and the wages that we pay. Anything else is fades into insignificance in comparison to those two things. I think that <clears throat> we do lack a, a consistent long-term uh, index probably should be reported in the town report of the tonnage of solid waste that goes into the hopper and go and we pay to have disposed each year on, on the, on the, it should be related to the number of people in town or to the number of of uh, solid waste licenses that we issued at the town office and are outstanding for uh, posting on cars that go there. And I think that that's the only way that you can focus on how much goes into that hopper mm -hmm. and on, on anything that you can might be able to do or any education that might be done to move some of the stuff that's in the bags to the recycling station, get rid of the disposal fees on that amount and get some return on cash return and the sale of solid waste. I'm not convinced that we're at rock bottom at that point. I'm not being critical and I'm not saying how, how it can be done, but I suspect that's a good place to look because there's a lot of money there. Can uh, you do a biannual waste report that the state requires? Right. Do we um, include that in our town report? Yeah, I, I mean it's um we had we didn't last I just looked at it. we didn't last year usually it's in there every year. The um I'm trying to and I, I gave you that I also sent you that same report that shows the breakdown of everything, which is basically the same thing as mm -hmm. as what the mm -hmm. state gets. Mm -hmm. Um I think what Jack is trying to say is try to get people to recycle more is, is basically where it's at. I mean, the state's really want, want you to be at 50%, you know, 50% of the trash. We're never going to hit that mark. I, I can't see it ever happening because of just the way the market is. We've lost so many recyclables over the past five or six years that I just can't market anymore. A lot of that, the rigid plastics that are now being tossed in the trash when we used to be able to recycle it. Mm -hmm. We used to be able to recycle the vinyl siding. That's all going in the trash now. So that that might change too. Was, or, or, uh, um, not now, not right now for you, but in the future. And if we have those statistics, those numbers, we can. Um, how that move along eventually, not now, but in the future. But, but uh, uh, the, the beauty of doing something like that is you know, when you try to install such a record, it's difficult, but once you get it going, is that you can see month by month how the tonnage it goes up or goes down, and it might be uh, related to the influx of people here in the summer. Right. So then, then other things happen, if in the summer we're having people that are recycling less, it means that somehow we should probably be educating the, the visitors in the summer. We have all those records. Oh yeah, I keep mm -hmm. track of it on a yeah, month by month basis of yeah, what's coming in. Every month. Well, that, that is not, that, that's not an issue. We have that, that information. The, the water of our expense at the transfer station is, and we'll never ever be able to get recovery on it because nobody, Every time we try to increase our pricing for stuff that costs us the most, couches, um, sheetrock, pressure treated, building materials, siding, all that stuff. When we try to get the numbers up where it needs to be to cover the cost, we get pushback all the time. We've tried and tried. I mean, we've increased that fees, but we're I, still behind. I, I think Jack's price. talking more of, of a diversion cost diverting it from the trash to recycling mm -hmm. putting it on the on the money end rather than throwing it in the trash i mean and i think we we capture a whole lot of it i'm not 100 and we probably never will catch 100 of everything because there are people that are, there is there's no way of enforcing 
recycling. We can't no. really enforce it. I mean, we have a sign up that says no cardboard is allowed in the hopper. People are just, they'll just throw their stuff. I, I, you know, that, that's the kind of thing I'm, I'm getting. And it's, and it's continuous and, you know, we yell, hey, no, don't throw that in there and you know, try to get it out. But it, it's almost impossible to make people. You got me far on vacation. The last thing they're they, they're going to worry about, about and yet, and then, <laughs> and in the summertime you have a lot of that with people yeah. from other states. They don't recite. They no. don't even yeah, think yeah, about yeah. it. It's not even something yeah, they do. They just throw it out, it. especially in the summertime. And they're yeah. here for a week and they don't care. They're just going to toss their trash and go. It's the, the full time residents to try to get them to. And I think we capture a lot. I mean, we do we do recycle quite a bit. Um, and in comparison to other towns, not, not like that. where are you going to put it? What, what do you mean? Well, you know, when you, when I go to dump, especially the plastics, that is usually heaped right on. Well, in the summertime, yeah, it is. It's, it's I mean, hard you know, to keep up. It's, uh, the one guy to keep up all of every, every bin is uh, filled. Wow, well, he's been short-handed all summer, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it, even, when, even when we're not, I mean, in the summertime, we're, we're swamped. Mm -hmm. We're really swamped. It's, this summer we only had one guy, which was just crazy, crazy. So, but um, will be uh, I don't know. I I I still think there's room for improvement. There's so always room. There's always room for improvement. So, Absolutely. so if, if people come and dump cardboard when they're not supposed to dump it, can we put a fee to that? Say, hey. A fee? No. You, you, you're doing this well. We don't have cardboard, please. No. <laughs> no. No. We, and, and there's no way that we can watch every single trash bag that goes in there. No. I mean, we, we try to watch as much as we can. We still miss things. I still find things that, you know, chemicals that are not supposed to be dumped, dumped around. Of course, someone will hide it and dump it over there. And it's just, it's really kind of impossible to, to, like you said, to police every little thing that goes through. It would be trash. interesting, Ken, would you send out like a 12 month um, report to the budget committee so they could just take a look at what some of those levels are each month? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So it'd be kind of interesting to look at. I'm not trying to be critical, as I said. That's where the money is. Mm -hmm. And year over year, I mean, I sent you that with that one report. You and Jack, I've also given that sent that report to you the year over year. What we're you know, and, and it's pretty consistent. It's extremely yeah, consistent. I was surprised. You said it was, and I'm like, it has to be up. It has to be no, up. But it it's wasn't. extremely it's consistent. Very consistent. Yeah. The other thing, years ago, when when recycling was just getting going, uh, and it was before your time, I remember that the town had a problem with too many people unauthorized to dispose of their trash were disposing of their trash in Dunbar. And I know you watched that as best you can. And, and I'm sure that we still get some of them that come through that don't pay, I, that are from other towns. Absolutely, I'm sure it happens. Because when I go over, I look for dump stickers. Yeah, yeah. And, and a lot of cars don't have dump stickers. Yeah, we, we keep them. I don't know where you're looking, but we have them put them on the passenger side back window. Yeah. Or on the passenger I, side I'm on sure the back. I miss, so we can I'm see sure them. I miss them. Yeah. And a lot of people don't like putting them on their cars either. They have them in their glove box or. Say, at least if you have a lease vehicle, you can't put it on your car. So. But I think a the what? Ton, the oh, the vehicle. Oh. Never even made me think about yeah. that. The tons that go through that hopper, which are precisely recorded by the slips that you get back from the receiving point. From waste management. You, yes. know that, you know what that tonnage is. Yeah. And you know how many people are authorized to dispose of material. Residents and a few people from home. Uh, I think it, by keeping track of that ratio, Mm -hmm. Keeping track of that ratio, not just the number of tons, but the, the, the ratio to the approved people mm -hmm. will tell a story. Mm -hmm. and it, but it has to be done over time. Yeah, I agree with that. I can see that. A very long time and, and, a, a, yeah, method, yeah, yeah. and a method to keep track of all of that. 
It won't tell you overnight. I don't know how you keep track of that with a commercial house. Yeah, we can't. Well, you keep a record of what goes See, and, and now that's a good point is that if you have a commercial hauler that's hauling in 75 to 100 residents, and I've got three or four haulers doing that. You got one hauler that's over 200 residents. Or one 200 hauler residents. that's hauling in over 200 residents. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. how well, there's yeah. no way of really like accounting for that. Yeah, he's part of the board. Well, you, you control yeah. who goes through the transfer station. That is yeah. correct. But those the 200 residents can tell you. Yeah, that, Who's authorized to dispose of it? Mm, I don't know how, so how get, well their records you get are. The you get the ratio they, of those two. And then you say, <laughs> <laughs> this guy's full of sleep. So uh, stickers, when the stickers are given out for the transfer station, is there a record of stickers that are handed out? No, they're given out. They are given out whenever someone does a new reg for their car or yeah. their new or their new residence. Yeah. And then they get a... Uh, Sticker, but the only times they should get a sticker, or when they get a new punch card, they'll get a sticker. So there's no real, even a non resident law could come in and register a vehicle and get a sticker on direct. If they're a non resident and they register a vehicle, that means they own property in Belgrade, right? So, yes, then they can get a sticker, which they're entitled to, right? Right, yeah, right, yes. But all right, as a Jackson, they may not be generating garbage in Belgrade. But they get the dump sticker. That that's a, that's been of an issue that we when we first had. Well, I had one. I had one. Uh, uh, one couple. I that had, yeah, this is the, the one resident that owns a camp here in Belgrade, but they live in Reedfield, and they're bringing that trash from Reedfield over here. Right. And I, I mean, I did catch that. And I'm like, you guys can't do that. It, it has to be generated here in the town of Belgrade. But they were bringing that trash from Reedfield. They have a Belgrade sticker, but they live in Reedfield. And I think I, I don't mean to belabor the point, but and I, you know, I really people do. We, we can run all, <laughs> run all right now. I, had, I, think I, think I had a guy from Union bring his trash to, uh, to <laughs> Union too. So yeah. that, that, uh, that's true for thought there. The so only other, other thing that I will say, just re to recap, uh, this is a good discussion in, in that uh, because we. That's a way to generate more revenue, so to speak. And uh, uh, is there any way to to mandate that when you get the sticker sticker for for the dump that you put it in a specific uh, place in your car? Yeah, one, that's what yeah, that's what we tell them to do. One yeah. and yeah. then and then have like a camera that as the car goes in, see the sticker said uh, you have count that, it. That's count a lot of money. We're talking barcoded, and then those cameras that do it. And I don't know how those cameras are with a lot of windows on vehicles. And now we cameras are cheap now. Not, the not scanner ones. For barcoding. Mm. I mean, I, I gotta I, look into that actually. I, I mean, think that's a little project. Scale, and I would. Uh, <laughs> what was that? I'd rather put money into a scale than you'd be and weigh and, and charge by weight. Yeah. That got shot down big time years yeah. ago. Yeah. Everybody's looking at their watches. Yeah. Yes, we are. I'm, I'm done at 830. We're, so. we're an hour behind. Yeah. Library is very easy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank Good you. night, everybody. I'm going to go home. Right. Thank you. Yeah, the budget is up 10 oh, grand. Sure. All that is wages and benefits. So everything else he kept the same. Oh, it's well, I moved mean, the, the numbers. The same. Right. He moved the numbers around. Right. But the, the, his budget, other than wages and benefits, is the same. So it's a, an increase on a percentage on the wages. Or? Right. He he asked for a six percent increase for everyone, and I put a five percent buffer in case. Yeah, it's a little more than six. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. And, <coughs> yeah. Okay, eleven percent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we tell me soon. Yeah. No. What's <laughs> that? I had to throw well, we did we did that for the deputies because they were way yeah, yeah they were third from the bottom across the state. Um, uh, any any um, comments on page nineteen? Is um, I guess is that falling in line with with the increases with the rest of the 
the cell, uh, rest of the entities in town? Uh, Why the buffer? If somebody walks and you say, well, I'll give you this much. And I always use that example. You can say, I can give you this much because we haven't budgeted. Oh, you want to pay them more. If, if you want, and then if, you, if, you, if someone is going to walk and they say, well, I'll give you this much money, then you can give them that much money if you need to. Why don't you just give them that much money to begin with? And they well, I'm walk. fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> a buffer sound <laughs> sounds like a safety <laughs> so, so I So, and I, I'm, you know, I'm not against raises. Right. You know, get people to yeah. I just think it needs to be uniform throughout all the, but all the, Every department well, uh, doesn't MMA do a salary survey every year. Uh, yeah, they're wrapping up one soon. So. Yeah, so we can look at that. Yeah. yeah, I just I just think department wise, it needs to be the same increase for each department. Okay. You know, not this department going up three percent, and this department going up eleven percent. They yeah. all need to be well, the same. Okay. Well, you probably we really need to look. We're doing it at the county. We're just so we know where we are compared to everyone well the industry basically and it's not just government it's also the private right. sector because yeah. you're competing with the exactly. private sector right. so look at the wage study and then look at what you're paying people and see if it's where it should be okay. because you're right you're going to lose them yeah and yeah. it costs more to lose somebody and mm -hmm. replace them than it is to pay them the right way exactly like i said i'm not against grace right. yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm the one that pushes it i've pushed it now for yeah. two years yes. i'm not the one Against, I just I want to see an even flow across all okay, departments, be, so it's a, it's, so it's a fair it's a fair shape for every department. I'll double check the. I mean, you know, I mean, you use friend. No. Yeah. Now you're working. So yeah. Okay. The duration. His is also easy. I mean, he got his increases are with. That's it. <laughs> so what's going on? That's it. Awesome. <laughs> what's going on with the transportation? Uh, fuel's way up, and he's already way. Oh, so you got that's your fuel. Line. That's just like for bus trips, no. uh, field not bus trips, field we trips. Had, we we had a, a a lot of kids in summer camp this year, and I budgeted for one bus for the summer for our field trips, thinking that we were going to have on average, you know, forty kids. I, I was going off numbers, you know, from the I didn't know, and then we start summer camp and we have 65 to 70 kids going on field trips. And that was just, I'm not going to cancel a summer's worth of field trips. So I wasn't prepared for the number of kids that we got. And the number that I put down is reflecting that. And then adding in trips for seniors to like to do a private fair. And that was a that was a hit. And then next year I want to do another trip like that. Mm -hmm. um, so those numbers were just put up. I mean, my 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 initial budget was like if we had one bus, I'd be, I'd be like right on the numbers, but you know, expected more kids and we got more revenue along with that. Do we have any uh, trending information on uh, kids coming to the programs? Um, I can look into it. I know that overall our revenue, um, our revenue, yeah, your revenue is up this year, but I have to look and double check, but it is up overall. Um, we had given some ARPA money to the Gardner Boys and Girls Club. Their books solid, and sure. and you know I I see children's programs and whatever you're going to offer, I think you're going to be full constantly uh, because people are looking for that, especially people who are working. And that's what we're seeing right now with our after school program. I mean, Bruce did yep. that, so he was yep. today. Um, you know, there was there was 20 kids in there. We have crafts going on. Right. Um, so across the board, we're seeing an increase in just numbers. I mean. Yeah. We, were, we were full all summer. You know, we turned people away certain days. Yeah, exactly. just, um, and, and it is a huge service. Yeah, you know, yeah. That's what I hear from all the parents. It's like, you know, we have an increased rates for Belgrade Recreation Camp. Um, and we could, to reflect that, to reflect other people around us. I mean, we're bare bones compared to a lot of programs. But um, I, think, I think we're doing more of a service Thing. Yeah, you may want to uh, do an analysis of what programs are costing and then look at your rates and then maybe make some adjustment. I don't think it'll it even put a perfect. dent in, in what you're getting sure. as far as kids coming. Yeah. Okay. 
and the only other expense that I really bumped with the column two series. Um, that I don't know if anyone has seen the event, uh, the village green. I counted every time I went down there, there was over 100 people at every show. Yeah. And um, we had a, a sound guy for some of our shows, and that in turn made more people. So that, that cost reflects having a professional sound guy for each show instead of the musicians having to bring their equipment. Um, and to be honest, the musicians that we're getting, I listen to a lot of live music, I go to a lot of concerts, and the music that we're getting for the money that we're paying these bands, and then they're relying on tips. Is that the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a uh, uh, 22, I think. It's called. Yeah, 22. Like it's 3113. Very so, popular. Yeah. Extremely. Very popular. Well, it helps the whole economy of the town. This, this, so. this shows, you know, is, is improved. All the they money. eat, they buy, they yeah. stay. Yeah. My, uh, my father used to live in Chatham on the Cape, and they have that bandstand in the park mob every Friday night. You know, and that's what with, with the gazebo is going to be the same thing. Yeah. And I, and I think that we're going to, you know, I want to be able to provide the same quality that we had this year because we had a sound tech for some of the shows mm -hmm. and we need to reflect that next summer because we're i mean it was i was blown away how many people know that so it's a great service to the community and it really brings us home you know people are coming from gardner people are coming from hallwell so it's not just people from belgrade that are coming we're drawing in business to everywhere they're stopping for gas and crispies you know right they come back just maybe a suggestion for next year or think into it is try to have rain dates because yes. it gets rained out a lot. Yep. Yeah. So if you have a another night that you could that same week you pick up as a rain date. Sure. Just just to and we're gonna we're rebuilding. We didn't have really have a formal contract for that program either. That was just uh, a verbal agreement from Christine Polson to a band and they would come and play. That's how we've been doing this mm -hmm. for the past two years. Where we got um, Oakland's contract that they have for all their musician groups, and we're going to mirror that um, when we're setting up for shows next year. So we'll, we'll be able to put in rent dates because this none of this has been addressed. Do do you have anything for like donations or anything? Um, we got a list going at the end of the last show. Christine did a great job. She you know, she said if anyone's interested. I mean, even like with the parks, you know, you drive up to the park to get a little canister thing there. Sure. You know, so people, you know, just say, hey, you, you know, help defer the cost of these productions. You know, people throw some bucks in there. Yeah, I think that, I think that this program is going to grow, like, I can't say exponentially because we really don't have the space for it. Um, but this program, you'll see it grow over the next two or three years just because it's so popular with people. Yeah. And people want to donate money to it. Yeah. So I want to be able to provide the product so that. You know, we do have people, more people come in there and right. do the same exact thing, yeah. donate money towards that. Right. So that becomes a two night a week thing or however we go. But yeah. yeah. My my biggest thing, same thing, Nick, on the on the wages. wages. This is a three five. You know, the library's six, six or equal yeah. eleven. Everybody's same amount across That's every right. I asked Nick for a download of this so that I can do percentages across the board. So you know, hopefully next week I'll have something on that. I'll send it out to everybody. Okay. Yeah, I'll get that to you. I should be able to get that to you tomorrow. Not yeah. definitely tomorrow. Just shoot me an email. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess so. We wrap it up. Percentages here. are important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're looking at all the changes because yeah. you can zero in right on where all the changes. Well, and, and for us to be able to kind of yeah. get this through the board to get it on the, the warrant, that's going to happen. Yeah. Hey, can leave the books here. Yes, if you if you don't mind leaving your books here, because I'll fill them when I get the new package ready. Right. Can you just make sure that the town report stays in line? Yes, thank you. It's got, I'll get you a book, so next time you'll have a book. I don't need a book. Yeah, no, okay. Because when you send me that, I'll just bring my laptop next time. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. All right. So I entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Yeah. And uh, we adjourn. Thank you. Thank you. Remember 9th, 6 30 p.m. I told Cynthia we'd get together. I'm supposed to babble. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>